Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. I hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on dealing with the uh, ellipse. We need to find the vertices and we need to find the center as well. We're given this big complicated equation. Where the, what they are really asking is, you guessed it, complete square. As um, pleasant as looks. All right, so let's get started. Let's group all the x's together while pulling the 4 out. So I have minus 2x over here. I'm going to leave a space, and then since I add something, I better subtract it. Otherwise, I would change what I started with. And then I have a y squared plus 4y. Again, I'm going to add something, subtract something, and then my 4 is left alone. Okay, so so far I set it up so I can complete in square. And the magic number I want to put in there is whatever this coefficient is, divided by 2 and square it. In our case, it's 1. The reason I want to do that is the first three terms I'm going to factor into a complete square. That's it's called a completing square. Same thing over here, taking this coefficient divided by 2 and square it, I have a 4. Okay, so so far, so good. And then we have a 4 x minus 1 squared, okay, and then I have a minus 1. The first three terms combined into this one, and the minus 1 is left along here. And over on this term, I have y plus 2 squared. I have a minus 4, and then let's leave it here, and plus 4. So those actually cancel us out. That's kind of nice. I like those little surprises in life where it becomes a little easier. Okay, so I'm going to distribute a 4 in there, and then let's leave this one alone, equal to 0. Next steps, I'm moving this 4 over. So I have a 4x minus 1 squared plus y plus 2 squared equal to 4. Now here's the interesting part, because we know early on it's a ellipse, so that means that uh, x and y direction is not going to be equal. It's a parent prefer one child versus the other. So it's either along x-axis or y-axis. There's a more complicated case uh, uh, later on. It might be along even along. But in our Algebra 2 beginner course, we don't deal with the rotation. Anyway, so moving on here, the way we're going to deal with this is we're going to divide it by 4, um, both left and right. So we can normalize and compare. Here I have 1 squared. The reason I want to make it a 1 squared is so that it's a more of a normalized uh, ratio over here. And then from here, we have all the information we need to find the center and vertices around it. And the best way we can do it is, of course, through graphing. Now, before we do that, let's have a small math break. I got my National Geographic, and it looks like, has a cute picture of monkey. I don't know if you can. Let's see if we can focus it. The title on the side it says, uh, those are golden snubbed nose monkeys. Aren't they cute? Maybe it wants to learn some math also. All right, back to math. So what we have here is setting this one equal to zero, setting this one equal to zero, we see that center is at x equal to one and y is minus two. So let's graph it. So center is at 1 and minus 2. Here's 1, here's minus 2. Maybe we should have done it a little bigger. And this one, parent prefers the y-axis. So this is our major league. Let's call it a major league. It's not really major league, it's major axis. But hey, we've got to have some fun. All right, let's draw our axis out here. This is a two dimensions, two units along y direction. So here's two. You know, it's better. We probably should write all the points down. And center is at one and minus two. Sorry, I had to squeeze here. I hope you can see it. Okay, two units up, I have one and zero. And two units down here, I have one and minus four. Okay, so that's my vertical extreme. X extreme is one unit here. So here's one unit, one unit here. And here's our little elongated over, over cattle. I live in Arizona, so all those 
shapes come in your mind. Right? You can call it a football. All right, so the vertices are 1 and minus 4, 1 and 0. And the minor axis, minor league here, I have a 2 and there's minus 2, minus 2. And then over on this one, I have a 0 and minus 2. All right, that's uh, all the information we need. I hope it's clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.